Moving on from that one, we have this really interesting and great news to play here or to talk about here on the pod regarding Michael Bibby, head of Solid, um, Solid Grooves, um, who made a triumphant comeback at Ibiza for the closing party over there. And he played a surprise set. Um, as most of you know, he's currently in recovery or treatment, sorry, for cancer. Um, I think it says here, yeah, he's after 100, more than 100 days of cancer treatment. Um, he's now, I guess, on the other side of it and starting to get back a little bit healthy. And he decided to pop out and play a surprise set um during the solid grooves closing party during ibifa and it must have been an absolutely crazy time to be there considering what he's basically been going through and it was kind of great to actually see him have a smile on his face again tweeting out stuff like one life live it and obviously putting out these amazing pictures of him behind the booth looking absolutely happy as larry to be playing again and having the fucking hat that says fuck cancer on it all that sort of good stuff but it made me kind of question and think about to myself like what would i have done in that same situation touch word it never happens to me anytime soon but i was thinking to myself if i ever got diagnosed with something like this and i was in recovery and whatever it may be would the first thing i'll be thinking about going out and getting on it would i want to go and do a pirate session or something or whatever it may be and i don't think it would be i think the main thing that i'd probably want to do would be to go and maybe experience something maybe go to a you know um maybe go on a holiday somewhere maybe gonna go to a really nice park that i like maybe go hiking somewhere i don't know something that would maybe even just go to a concert and see other people having fun because i usually get a lot of um good feeling around that sometimes just being around people actually excited for life and shit would make me feel somewhat um um uh, appreciative of the life i actually lived but i don't know if the first thing i'd want to do is go to a nightclub i'm not too sure but it also shows the importance or how much that whole life and that career meant means and meant and still means to michael Bibby. in that that was the first place he went to go to to somewhat feel human to be connected again with people to be appreciative of still being here and being able to maybe have a smile on his face have a good attitude behind it because that's something that's been quite admirable to see about him on social i'm sure privately he has these really tough and difficult times but i like how positive and fun and appreciative he is on social regardless of how terrible your situation is he's really really trying to be um positive about it and have a good perspective about it um regardless of what's going on with him privately and i think that's very admirable considering just how heady he was at one point to come to this low low and to still be as high as he is now still got a smile on his face is something to be definitely acknowledged it's something to be definitely clapped about and celebrated and i can only imagine how happy that guy must have been to be behind the booth once again um amongst the people that he knows amongst the scene that he fucking loves playing the music that he fucking adores for a horde of people people who had no idea he was going to be there that must have been fucking great and i've actually got a clip here taken from all the clips on his instagram of him actually playing for the first time um since his um cancer treatment for a crowd of people that are super super happy to see him so let's play that the only thing that made me laugh about this though slightly was that really like <laughs> you know leaving your cancer treatment to go back to fucking ib for just to go play tech house is a definitely a decision you know, that's definitely one thing to do. If anything, if you're going to go there, you should be like, you know what? I'm determined to change everything about what people think I am and what I do. I'm going to play a different, two completely different sound. But man just went out there and just played the same old tech house he was playing before. <laughs> like nothing actually changed. And everybody absolutely lapped it up. I love it. good vibes though, man look at how happy everybody looks in the crowd people are ecstatic jumping around in the booth hugging him the phone's out him smiling i love seeing him. top boy everyone's so happy to be there fair play look at the crowd look how many people there. look at the phones in the air look at that Phone documenting the occasion for once. I don't really mind that shit. Everybody going hammer the drop. Fair play. But yeah, anyways, um, you know what, go on, you know the deal, you know, you see him happy, you see him jubilating and having a good time over there. So big up him. And hopefully he does make a steep speedy recovery and is able to come back at full force and back in the scene and do something smashing again. The only thing that really was interesting to me was reading some things online about how different people react to terminal illnesses. 
and some people you know use it as an opportunity to change everything about them and some people just go the complete opposite way and become extremely destructive start drinking lows start doing more drugs as before which is something that happens quite often that you don't really think about a lot because you know maybe if it doesn't happen to you directly you probably don't really pay it to mind but I w watching a lot of stuff online reading a lot of stuff online also about it and it's something that happens quite often people like legitimately in treatment would just be like fuck it i'm not gonna go through with all this chemo it's fucking me up it's making me down it's destroying me on the inside it's painful i'm just gonna enjoy the time i have and do what the fuck i want the, you know racking up lines drinking a bunch taking pills and just doing you know what you deem to be destructive like destructive to their life because they don't want to fight they can't fight right they don't have it in them to fight anymore because it's just taking out it's taking more out of them than just accepting uh, the time they have available and just making the best out of it in the way that they think is the best out of it so it's a very different different reflection on those type of things so i do give um people credit um or i do understand both sides of it i don't judge any of it i don't judge the ability to go back you know like i said the first thing i wouldn't have done is go back to a rave personally but then also you know this is not my career right this is his livelihood this is his entire life before this unfortunate diagnosis and the first thing that you want when you're probably in that position who cooped up in hospitals and whatever on your own alone is just to be around people again right just to kind of feel quote unquote normal again and i feel that it's the best way to do it for him so big up michael bibby um hopefully he makes a speedy recovery and we see him back in full force on the dance floor very 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 